Now let's consider the following application. Park rangers catch, tag, and release 200 Thule elk back into the wildlife refuge. Two weeks later, they observe a sample of 150 elk, of which five are tagged. Assuming that the ratio of tagged elk in the sample holds for all elk in the refuge, how many elk are there in the park? We begin by designating our variable x. Here, we want to let x equal the unknown value that we're trying to find, and that would be the total number of elk, so the total population of elk that we have in the park. Now, we're told that we have a ratio of tagged elk, and that ratio is going to be the same as the ratio for all elk in the refuge, where we're going to be looking at the number tagged in the sample, divided by the total in the sample, And we want this to be an equal ratio with the number tagged in the population divided by the total population. So using this information, let's figure out how to set up our proportion. The number tagged in the sample, we had five from the sample that were tagged. Out of the total in the sample, and we had a sample of 150. This is going to be equal to the number tagged in the population, and we're told that the park rangers had 200 that they tagged in the general population, over the total population, which is our unknown value of x. Now, before we use our cross products principle, we notice that we can simplify the fraction over to the left. We have a common factor of 5. Let's go ahead and reduce that to get our next step. We're going to have 1 over 30 equals 200 divided by x. Now using our cross products principle, we can multiply 1 times x, which is x, and multiply 30 times 200, which is going to give us 6,000. And so in answer to the question, we'll have 6,000 as our total population of elk.